What's up guys, it's Preeds coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today we are back with the Eden Streak going for win number 206 in a row. So without further ado, let's get right into the game, get some gaming going on, have a little bit of fun, and see where this run takes us as Eden on hard mode. And I hope you guys are all having a grand old day. Today we start off with really good stats. We have, like, I'm not saying, uh, I almost said terrible. We have insane tier 8 insane damage we start off with mark which gave us a little bit more damage and speed we start off with dad's key which allows us to get to secret rooms and open all doors for, for two charges which is insane we start off with three hearts of health one of those hearts is from marked and we start off with the empress card which is all pretty good the seed is xt 4 w one h a 4 let's get this game on the road this is actually such a crazy starting damage like you can't really get much higher than this and we get Ro Roid Rage off the rip. Any syringe that you can get early is really, really nice. Just because getting that sponge transformation transformation like yesterday is really good. I don't know why, but my like lips froze up a little bit. Okay. Um, I would love to try to get Magic Mush. Probably not going to happen on this floor. We don't have that many bombs right this second. And yeah, one thing that's really nice about Dad's Key is it's a two charge item. That allows you to get into boss arena rooms, which you can't get into any other way other than, uh, I mean, you can't get to it in any other way other than like get out of jail free card. And I think that's about it. You can also get into them if you have red key and you go into a room adjacent. Um, Cause in a red room, you can still, you can go into the boss arena room, uh, which is kind of weird, but it's one way. But mainly dad's key used to be one of the only, only active items I could get you in there. I'm pretty sure. I may be slightly wrong. You can also teleport into them, technically, so I guess it's not 100% true. But for the most part, it's crazy, okay? We can also get into secret rooms with Dad's Key. We can get into item rooms. We can get into shops. It makes it so keys are not as needed. We still need keys for chests. We still need keys for, you know, some of, like, the more normal uses. But we can get a bunch of stuff for free, which is always super, super nice. And that was car battery which car battery is absolutely useless with dad's key and whenever you have dad's key you kind of want to just keep it for the rest of the run it's a really good item another thing that dad's key can do is it can get us into the mega satan fight so we can go devil deals without having to worry about a thing um but i'm probably gonna go angel deals again today just because it's just smarter and you know what i believe in this x lax is not that good Power pill is actually huge for me. I know I could have gone out of here without taking any more damage, but I want to take the other pills. I know I could have done it faster. I just like fumbled a little bit, but there we go. Let's shoot the poop, shoot the poop, and we can get out of here. And we have really good stats, so I don't really care too much about my health right now. We did get a health up from that, so that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that was completely worthwhile. Sadly, no crawl space or anything. And we can get on out of here. Forgot I haven't, haven't even fought the boss yet. And whenever you have cards, just use cards. There's not really a reason to save them. I mean, unless it's a certain, like, certain cards. Um, but, like, if you have like, a damage up card or, like, the magician or something random like that, just use it. You're going to be holding on to it for so long. There's never, like, a perfect time to use it. And it just allows you to go light, slightly faster. It'll be fine. Dang. We're one step closer to Leviathan now. Which is very cool. And look at this. We can go alt path because I use that. And I don't think I need... I was going to go get one of the batteries from the super secret room. But I can't imagine that's going to be something super useful. Dang. Uh, glowing hourglass is quite good. But it's not as good. It's, it's, it's not as good as dad's key. But it's very, very solid. They're both very, very solid. It's not as good as Dad's Key in the cer like the certain position that we're in where we're trying to go for Mega Satan and we don't want to go for Angel Deals exactly. Actually, I do want to go for Angel Deals. Oh, no. It's it's just different. I have no need for Glowing Hourglass right this second, technically. Um, and 100%, I always take Soy Milk when I see it. Soy Milk is a very, very fun item. We get really, really good DPS from it since our stats were already high. So this is going to be a sick item to have. It's going to make our run a little bit more fun because there's a lot of really fun synergies that you can get whenever you have soy milk. But yeah, whenever you pick up soy milk, whenever you have base stats, you actually have really bad DPS. But as soon as you get a couple damage ups, I mean, you get you have crazy DPS. Because, like, right now, 
I have about 20 DPS, which before I think what I had almost five damage and I had three something tier rate. So five times 3.5, it's like 15, 17.5, something like that. So it's, it's actually really good DPS. Now that's, that's if you hit all your tiers and with soy milk, it is a lot harder to hit all your tiers. Um, admittedly, like you're more likely to miss a lot of them, but with bosses that are big, it's very, very easy to do a lot of damage very quickly because you have, it's, it's easy to hit all your tiers. Um, I'm just going to pop this real quick. Uh, take you. Yeah, right now I'm just trying to build up health. I think I am going to go into the devil deal just to check it out. Um, maybe not take anything that's in there, but there could be some fun items in there. And I don't know where the secret room is. I'm assuming it's off of this big l shape room. So I'll fight the boss, and after I fight the boss, I will just use the key outside. We should be fine. But yeah, certain bosses like this, uh, Soy Milk does not make this boss easier because it's a very small hitbox. So, I mean, I have to hit my shots. Now, I'm pretty good at hitting my shots, I will say. Um, it's not my first rodeo. So it's not my first rodeo. I'm pretty good at not not missing too much. I hit my tears every once in a while. So that's really good. I'll take glass eye. I'll come in here just to check it out. And do I want this? So this is a cool little thing that I can do. So basically, I think I do this. I know I said I want to go for angel deals, but I don't need to. So this is what's going to be kind of cool, is we take Dead Cat, it's going to take one red heart, two soul hearts, but Dead Cat always gives you back one red heart. So, since we got back our red heart, I can now take Contract from below, and that right there was like one of the only ways, I guess we could have probably taken it a different way as well. If I would have taken Contract from below first, that might have been the better play, I don't think it matters either way. If I took Contract from below first, we would have, been ha or we would have had five soul hearts, and then we would have gone down to... I think I would have been better off. Yeah, I would have been better off taking contract from below than nine lives. But I was just showing that Guppy's life does, or Guppy, or Dead Cat does give you a red heart back, which is nice. Now we can go find the secret room real quick, which was surprisingly not where I thought it was. And I think we just go to next floor. I'm feeling pretty good about this. And the reason why I took Dead Cat and uh, contract from below is because contract from below just gives us more drops on the ground and dead cat just gives us nine lives which i mean nine lives having the ability to die a bunch of times is very nice if you see dead cat and you want to go for a devil deal run it's like your best chance to do it you can play a lot more riskier uh and just like go down to one heart of health and if you die you die but guess what you come back to life it so it's not like anything too too terribly risky we are going to be able to save a lot of keys and a lot of bombs on this run. So we should have a lot of resources so that we can uh, ensure our victory this run. And at this point, uh, it's not like a one run yet. Uh, this is this is not really a good setup for once we get to like Mausoleum or once we get to Womb. It, it's not the best setup ever. But it's getting there. It, it's definitely getting to a spot where it's going to be a one run if we get like a single item. Also, I completely missed that. If we got, if we can get something that uses red hearts, that'd be nice. Right now we can't really do much with that. Okay, you're gonna blow up. Oh, I got scared. I got stuck against that poop. Also, you just shot me away. That's kind of rude. Nice. I'm just trying to clear this like very, very carefully. That way I just make sure I'm not missing any tinted rocks. That way I'm just getting all, everything I can get. I want to make sure that I'm using as little resources as possible just so that I have more resources, like more keys for chests and stuff. Because that's crazy. That's actually insane. Uh, I just want to make sure that I can open every chest I see and just have a good run. But now that we got C-section, that right there is like, that is, it, it's, a, it's a one run at this point. I think I can confidently say there's very, very little possibility of me losing this run at this point. Now, some people might be like, that's a little confident. That's like, that's a little crazy. Are you sure? I am, I am 100% sure that I, I, I have won this run at this point. Because C-Section is one of the most broken items in this entire game. It does more damage than like anything else you can get in this game. 
Um, it has an inherent homing ability, which is insane. It it combined with soy milk just means we have a lot of these little babies that just like do a bunch of tick damage at all times. And so it's just very good. And so I might honestly go to mother and now you might be thinking to yourself, you don't you, ha you don't have the mod that lets you get continue after mother. I don't think I'm ever going to get that mod. I'm so I, I know I talked about it before. I don't think I'm going to get it ever. But this would be a good run to go do that. And there are ways to continue after mother without getting a mod. So I prefer to try it, try doing it that way. It's more fun that way. But this is like such a good setup that I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Now, pageant boy, is that what's called? Not pageant? Yeah, it's not a good item. Not going to lie. Not something I exactly wanted, but that was a nice quick little mirror realm. We can get on out of here. I'm going to use my key to go into the next floor. This is why we love Dad's Key. Like, Dad's Key is just so insanely strong. It's actually wild how good it is. Because it can get you into any room you want to get into. Now, I didn't go into the boss arena room. I just realized that. I was hyping that up. I didn't go into it, which is fine. There's not really a reason for me to go in there. But we do... Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to take Eye of Belial... And I don't know if I Belial works. I'm going to be honest. It, but taking my Belial right there might not have been the best option. Oh, but it works. It works indeed. Okay, that's actually insane. Now, the reason why it's so insane is because we already have, um, like, homing tiers, technically, with C-section. But they're so slow that it means that our I Belial will do double damage and, like, go through enemies, like, so much quicker. It's just going to be a very, very easy. So this is actually insanely, insanely good. And please tell me that this wasn't the, that's not the secret room. Okay. That's what I was like hoping that wasn't the secret room. Now that's the secret room. Oh. Well, I can do this room a little easier now. Nice. I'll come in here now and look at that. Nothing too good. We're just looking for the shop now. And somebody was asking why yesterday I had like 10 hearts and didn't uh, sacrifice. I don't remember what floor I was on, but the issue with sacrificing at 10 hearts, there's not, I mean, I, I've done it before. I, I've done it many times before. But whenever you don't have anything that lets you, like, take half heart damage instead of full heart damage, if you only have 10 hearts, that means you can only get to the ninth sacrifice, which is troll bombs. And if I can only get to the ninth sacrifice, it's not exactly a, a good spot to, to sacrifice at because you want to make sure you can get to the 11th sacrifice to get soul hearts. Now, I didn't go back and look at what the circumstances were at the time, but that's kind of like the general idea. Also, my run wasn't like super crazy OP, so I didn't want to go down to low health. And so certain runs, I just don't want to have low health, so that's kind of just how it goes. We already came in here. Nothing good. I'm going to go look for the shop and such. Yeah. The main times that I sacrifice like crazy are whenever I have like an insanely good run that will be very hard to lose. Like right now, I could sacrifice go low health because... I can go low health. I have nine lives. I'm not really ever in danger. But yeah. I will take stopwatch. It's just nice. Thank you. And right here, I think, is a great time to sacrifice. Okay, well, that's not what I meant to do. And you want to make sure you put the bomb far enough away that it doesn't blow up the machine. But right here, sure, this item's not really good, and this could be a good item, but we don't know, so we're not going to risk it. So we just keep on re-rolling until we see, like, a really good item, and... Nothing's going to help me too, too much. Tier rate up. Actually, that is a fire rate up. I, I'm going to take this. Ooh, that sucks. That was something really good. But a fire rate up is actually insanely good, especially with soy milk, because it allows us to get just crazy, crazy tier rate. So the higher tier rate, the better. And I think right here I'm actually going to go to Jawbreaker, because I can lose. I can very, very easily lose. Um perfection and jawbreaker is just very very solid so you know what do i want to sacrifice right here i might as well and this is the difference between like today and yesterday today i have nine lives yesterday i don't know i didn't have nine lives it wasn't a crazy good run like i am set for this run if i don't get another item this entire run i'm still fine and now this is is one of the risks right here is you could just like get nothing good and as you see i can't really sacrifice enough for this to be completely worthwhile but i can find angel which gives me a higher angel chance which doesn't actually affect me and what i will do is 
this. Why? Because I have nine lives. It's okay to die. And I get a bunch of soul hearts. And this is why you always want to be able to sacrifice at least 11 times. If you don't sacrifice 11 times, then you're almost wasting all the sacks. Because the 11 sacrifice, 50% of the time, gives you, uh, what is it, 8 soul hearts? Yeah. Is that 7 soul hearts? I don't even know how many soul hearts that is. Just very solid. And all the money is great. And now I will go to next floor. And one thing that's also really nice about it as key is it does let you get into mausoleum for free which is huge because you don't have to lose the two life like you usually have to and look at that i think the fire rate up was good because there are not many fire rate up items in the game if you guys don't know what fire rate up is fire rate up is a tears up that allows you to break the soft tier cap in the game which means that you can fire faster than you normally should be able to and especially with soy milk something that already has insanely fire like high fire uh, fire rate up or fire rate of fire. I don't even know what I'm talking about. He's good. That's all I'm saying. And I'm going to take a mystery item here because why not? Now, mystery items are something I probably shouldn't take because if I get something like Epic Fetus or anything like, or like Doc, or if I get Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, anything that is a bo is bomb damage, it's very scary, especially with soy milk. Don't want crooked penny. Did not mean to take that. Ace of Spades is okay. I don't have a card, so that's fine. But yeah, Jawbreaker is insane because it does give us that, what, 3.2 times damage up? Uh, with 100% chance at 9 luck. We don't have a lot of luck, but we have such a high fire rate that we will be shooting uh, a 3.2 times damage tier at least once per second. Like, with the odds that we have right now, it should be pretty common. Oh, well. And, like, look at that. That's why we look, took Eye of Belial. It's just so much damage. With C-section, it's just actually insane. Uh, what does this do? When killing an enemy, I don't need that. I would love, love, love to get Guppy on this run. Now, Guppy is better on runs where you have like higher damage compared to higher tier rate. Because with Guppy, you summon flies, and flies do double your tier damage. And so, Guppy's insane when you have a really high damage run. So once, as soon as you get soy milk, it does kind of make flies n never going to be as good as a normal run. But it's still fine. It's still good. And let's just do this real quick. Because why not? Yeah, yes, I am going to go mother just because this is a easy run to go mother on. Um, but since I am going mother, I am going to try to be a lot more careful with my health. Because... Um, I'm gonna start get, like the corpse floor is just very hard. I could lose a lot of health at it. If I do somehow get to the point where I die in the mother fight, I don't think I can beat it. Um, I'm not really the best at no hitting mother. Have I done it before? Yes. Can I do it every time? No. There's a lot of RNG that comes with the mother fight where some some of the runs are just easier than others. Just genuinely, like sometimes it's it some of the attack patterns are just a little rough. Like, if you get the gapers that walk up and down the screen, I'm sorry, but you got, like, the worst luck in the world. And let's just do this. Kobe. Okay. I'm just going to dodge the head and go to the far side. Is there any reason I'm going to the far side? No. I just want to run this way. Nice. Oh, wait, what the heck? I don't know how I dodged that right there, but I dodged it. That was sick. Also, the fact that I got hit right there was kind of BS. Also, I am going to perform the dreaded walk through spikes mover. And yeah, you got to be careful about not walking too close to the shadow. It, I don't know what the hitbox really is, but like right there when I just kind of walked way too close to it to get out the door, that was just dumb damage. Um, I thought I was going to be safe, but I guess I actually don't know the hit hitbox. I've not found the secret room yet, so I probably will start using bombs to find the secret room. I am going to do this to see if I can get magic mush. This magic mush would be insane. It's a 1.5 times damage multiplier, which who doesn't want a 1.5 times damage multiplier, am I right? And always go to curse rooms, because curse rooms can get you into devil deals, which is sick. Now, that was kind of very lucky that we actually got into a devil deal. I'm just going to bomb both of these to see if we get anything. Um, 
You know what? I am going to take a little brimstone. If we can get conjoined on this run, it's going to be like conjoined with C-section is insane. And soy milk as well. But we really don't need Book of the Dead. Book of the Dead is an item that's insanely, insanely good with uh, Tainted Lost. But other than that, I almost never take it. Let's just do this. We have the resources. Might as well get a free chest. That gets us a damage up, which is actually huge. A point two times damage up might not seem like much, but it's actually so, so valuable to us at this point. Okay, that can't be the secret room. Secret room is probably... Yeah. Secret room is maybe off this room? No, it's not off this room. I think the secret room... Uh, what I was thinking before was I think it's to the right of this room up here. I think it's above this room. It's not above this room. That means it could be here, maybe? Uh, I think it's... If it's not there... I, at this point, I'm just guessing because I really don't know where it is. At this point, I believe it's probably right here. This is a kind of an uncommon spot for the secret room to be. But it can be here. It's a very weird spot. It seems a lot more unusual than it is. And I will go to the boss arena room. Get some health, which is huge. And just like, just look how much damage we do. Now, of course, this is the worst enemy for me to show you how much damage we could do because we have to blow it up first. But like, just look at that. We are insane. Kind of the strongest. And this is just a crazy good run. I, I mean, soy milk by itself is exciting, but it can be kind of bad. C-section, however, is so insanely good, but getting it with soy milk is just insane. It's such a fun little setup. So, we should destroy everything. And I'm not actually gonna use little brimstone, I'm gonna be honest. That takes too much brain power to actually ever stop holding down the shoot button. This setup is made so I don't have to think. And we'll take the health up, which is actually probably one of the best things we can get in a boss fight right now, other than a syringe. And look at this, mausoleum. Time for us. Hey, of course I will come in here. And one thing that's cool about Mausoleum, another reason why it's kind of really good to go to, even if you're not like the best at this game, is because Mausoleum allows you to get an extra shop and an extra item room, but it also allows you to take less damage for longer. Because whenever you're on Mausoleum 2, you're on the same floor as Womb, one which on womb one you take a full heart of damage anytime you take damage um when you're in mausoleum two however you only take a half heart of damage so it is just better to uh go this route even if you're not as good you'll probably lose less health by going this route um of course it's fine you do have to pay two health to go into this floor but you'll probably lose more health going womb but if you are bad at this floor, then I do understand. This is maybe not the best floor to go to. But once you get kind of good at it, it's always it's actually like just such a good idea to go this way. And I have money, so I will buy you. I will buy you. That's crazy that that was two troll bombs. I'm gonna buy starter deck just because I can. Which gives me higher fit, which is insane. I'm just gonna donate the rest of my money. I don't think I need money for the rest of this run. At least I hope I don't. A little bit of luck doesn't hurt, and I could blow up that shopkeeper, but I don't really feel like it because that does increase my chance of running into greed later. Hey, okay. it's kind of confused why I hadn't gone over here yet, but I realize now. And dang, that's kind of fun. So we know for a fact that we can get into the boss challenge room, which means we can get an extra boss item next floor. So part of me just wants to take this because I will see more boss challenge rooms. I know Jawbreaker is insanely good, and I probably should take Jawbreaker, but come on. It's not every day that you actually get a use temporary tattoo for what it's good for. So I'm just doing this today to showcase it off a little bit. To show that temporary tattoo is actually pretty decent, if you can use it correctly. And I am just using uh, my active item right here, because we're about to go into a really big room, which will get us our charge back for free. Nice. Secret room. No secret room. I don't know where the secret room is. Nice. 
Could the secret room be off of this room, maybe? I'm actually just so confused. Don't need that. I'm just gonna pop this now. I don't really need keys that much. I like this. I'm just gonna bomb this. Nothing. Well, that was some bad damage I took, but we should be fine. Ooh, we got another moon card. I do like that. And that's not where I thought the secret room was gonna be. I feel like I've been finding, getting a lot of really weird secret rooms. And look, a luck up. Let's go. You might be wondering how I knew that was gonna luck up before I picked it up. Lucky pennies are slightly green. Over time, you kind of, like, start noticing it a lot easier. It's really not that hard to see. And temporary tattoo is really good because it does give us an extra chest after the cha or the challenge room. Which is cool. So that's why we got an extra chest right there. And I am just full clearing right now. Do I need to be doing this? No. I haven't... Have I been missing... T I feel like I've at missed at least a tinted rock. I feel kind of dumb. Because I haven't seen one. Have I seen one? I don't know. I'm just going to say I haven't seen a single one. And it's not my fault. But there we go. Crazy damage. A tier rate up is always good. And we actually do get a tier rate up right there, which is huge. And we're going to go next floor. I don't think there's anything else I need here. But next floor, I get to use temporary tattoo. And I will say Jawbreaker is the better trinket to take here. Um, every, like, I would say you should always take jawbreaker if you're in this position but just because i am doing this more for fun and entertainment i want to do i want to go see what we can how, like how nice temporary tattoo can be for us i'm guessing it's not going to be insanely good it's probably not going to even help us out much and, but we also have like just such an insanely op run already that doesn't really matter too much to me anyways now let me just take you Dang, that's actually really solid. Okay, Temperance. I will do this. Just because I do like money. Look, another Lucky Penny. Dang. Um, is this worth it is the question. I'm going to blow up all of these. If I get a Soul Heart out of one of these, I will definitely go across this. You know what, this is fine. And yeah, I know that this is a lot of damage to take, but... We did get a guppy item, so like it was all worth it. I probably could have done all that without taking damage, but I'm just very slow sometimes. I should be bombing skulls whenever I can, because I do want to be able to get conjoined this run, and right now it's not looking like I'll get conjoined. Oh, but this is solid. I do like this a lot. Okay. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, you know what? I'm not even. I'm, not, I'm just gonna bomb this to get it. That was really bad. My plan right there was to block the spike behind the red poop, but I just didn't time it correctly. I don't even know. I curse of the darkness is rough. I don't even know what hit me right there. And a free bomb for a bomb. You always do this because you never know if there's gonna be a crawl space. And I will remember. Actually, I don't think I even needed. I really did not need to grab Dreamcatcher, but it does let, let me get like a little bit more health uh, every single floor, so it's actually not the worst thing ever. Gives you a half soul heart or a soul heart at the beginning of every floor, which is pretty sick. And where's my boss challenge room? I'm running out of uh, space. And this is a tier rate up. Okay, I'm actually maxed out on tier rate, so that's good to know. I always forget like what the max cheer rate is with soy milk. I know that with soy milk, um, I think it's a, the fire rate up, I think it's four times fire rate up. Plus like five or something like that. And that might sound like a very random number. It, it really is. But it's like, it, the, the equation's very odd. Okay. Thank you for the money. And I'm just going to take the mystery item because I need something good. Attack Chub isn't going to help me out too much. That's fine. I assume that this wasn't this was, wasn't going to stay open. 
So I'm glad I got my charge back. And this is actually a fire rate up. So, guess what? We actually get more tier rate. And we're very, very OP. And we do get a second item in a second, which is exciting. I used to be so bad at this attack. I'm still bad at it, I feel like. But I've gotten better. Just look at this damage. Insane. And look at that. We get an extra item, which is huge. Which is a luck up. Which, I will say that's... Not the best item ever, but it's one of the better boss items we probably could have gotten. Because luck up right now is pretty huge. Actually, I don't have any luck-based tier effects. I keep forgetting that I did drop Jawbone. Jawbone? Jawbreaker. Can I get a health upgrade? Thank you. So our health is looking great. We're just looking great. Everything's looking absolutely fantastic. And I don't think... I'm trying to remember. Does Dad's key open up the path to um, the special womb fight. I feel like it doesn't. Or the special mom's heart fight. I don't think it does. Which is kind of odd. Death key is like one of the few items that is just like the universal tool in this game. And it doesn't work on the door we're about to get to. Okay, there is a devil deal. Uh, I'm going to take this for the damage up. I don't think I'm ever going to be at no red heart health. And look at that. That right there means that we do get Guppy, which I did say Guppy's not like the craziest thing ever. I will take Succubus because why not? And look at this. And I know I, if I knew that Guppy's Paw was in here, I could have actually waited to take one of the Polaroid or the negative. But if I, once I found out Guppy's Paw was in here, I could have just like gotten rid of all my red heart health so that uh, Polaroid would have been better. But I think the damage up is also fine. So I'm okay with this. And I do want to test this out. Yeah, so Dad's Key does not work on this door, which is kind of weird because it works on pretty much every other unopenable door in the game, including Mega Satan. Like, just look at this damage. Also, we don't have that many damage ups from this game, so I'm happy that we got damage up from the negative. There we go. And yes, we don't have a lot of health right now, but we're going to be fine. We have a dumb amount of flies. Because we have such high tier rate, we actually do produce a lot of flies because of that. So, we are very solid. And the reason I'm using my money like crazy is because I don't need money for anything anymore. There's no more shops. So, we're fine. And we will have a boss arena room on the next floor. So, I actually get to use uh, temporary tattoo one more time. Which is kind of sick. And that right there is an interesting trinket. Um, it's one of the, the best trinkets in the game when it comes to getting Keeper done. Because it does give Keeper extra health, which is one of the few items that actually gives Keeper extra health. Other than, like, Greed's Golet. There we go. We get some money. I don't actually care about the item that's in this machine. But I just want to see that machine pay out. And yes, we don't get any more item rooms. The rest of this run is just us fighting rooms and getting to the next floor so that's all i'm focused on i'm looking for tinder rocks because i really have not seen any i've also not been like looking out too too much which is on me nice and yeah my health just isn't looking too great i really wish i could have gotten wafer earlier but what did we get instead of wafer Oh, we got our fire rate up, which I still think it was a really good thing to get. Ooh, damage up, which is huge. And we have fly. I completely forgot about that. But now we have just slightly more damage, which any more damage we get just means our flies do more damage. Um, we do more tick damage, which tick damage is our best friend. We also, like, most of our tiers do do double damage because of Eye of Belial. So, we're doing, like, we're doing crazy damage. That's about all I gotta say. Where's the secret room? Because I do want to find it. And I feel like it's either... I think it's to the right of this. Is it right here? Yep. There it is. Don't care about you. I could get a bunch of rotten hearts, but rotten hearts are honestly not good. And I forgot that we do get... Blank room. I know you might be saying, why not use that somewhere else? I don't really like uh, Blank Runes that much because it can't activate Black Rune, which Black Rune can be a little, a little dangerous. Also, oh my gosh, wait a sec. 
So Judgment spawns a reroll machine, which is really good. That gets us a... Dang, that's so good. And the Stars card gives us two items. Okay, we're about to lose a lot of health right here, but it's going to be so worth it. So first of all, we are going to use the reverse... Actually, I don't even have to lose that much health. Let's do this. We are going to use the reverse moon card, which is going to get us in here. We are then going to use the reverse stars card, which is going to get rid of that. And I don't care about any of these items that much. So I'm going to do this. Judgment does not matter. Wait a sec. Now I need to go get a red heart. Oh my gosh. Well, let me go run across this entire map real quick. But getting that bone heart is actually pretty good for us. Actually, no, we're about to lose this bone heart no matter what. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the reverse judgment card, which reverse judgment gets you a reroll machine. Now, what's cool about the reroll machine, especially in the ultra secret room, is we only get red items. So we have a pretty high chance of getting something really, really special, Justice. which is awesome. Let me do this. Come out here. I'll pop the lover's card because why not? Lovers. I'm just going to put my bombs down real quick. I need like dry baby or something. I need I want conjoin. But the game's not gonna give it to me. Uh double R bombs. And reverse judgment here. And we have a we don't have that much money, but we can reroll a couple times. And I will take the pact for the health. Sanguine Bond is not useful. I think I need to take you. And I don't want knockout punch. Oh, that's too good not to take. Okay. So that's a huge damage up. I know it might be a tier 8 down, but like, look at this. Look at this. It's crazy. Trust me. I'll take this, the devil card for extra damage. But like, just watch how much damage we're about to do. It's just a lot more damage than we did before, especially with Eye of Belial. It might have not been the best choice, but I still think it's wonderful. So I'm happy with what I did. And that was a crazy amount of reverse cards to get right there. I don't think I've ever gotten three in a single room. But thank you for that. Contemporary tattoo is staying with me forever. Also, I'm on corpse one still. Good to know. Behemoth lacquer is it's a good item. It's a it's a damage multiplier, so it's it's decent. So my eyes itchy. Ooh, look at that. We do get conjoined, which is absolutely insane. I'll take the crack key piece. I wish I had better vision right now. Can't really see. It. My map being open did not help anything. But crack key could get us to the ultra secret room later on the next floor, which could be really cool. And this is a pretty rare room right here. Um, this does allow us to have a shop item right here. That could be any item. It happened to be a sack, which is a little sad, but... It's all good. Spawns 10 pickups and collectibles, which could be items. Ace of diamonds, two, ooh, two of diamonds is interesting. High priestess, hierophant. I'll take hierophant with me. Actually, I'm just gonna go fight this boss real quick. Like, look how much damage this is about to be. Also, one thing that's cool about the devil card is it, it's always a two damage up. So it does crazy, crazy damage. And we did lose one of our syringes, so it's a little sad. And why not? I'm just going to take both of these. We're, we can get our health back pretty easily. We do have the reverse Hierophant card, which I'd prefer to use on this floor. So, we'll pop you. Get these. And I don't need two of diamonds. I'm going to take Suicide King with, just for fun. That way, after Mother, I can die and see what we get. Nice. Just knowing what we're going to get um, in chests is also very nice. So, I think it's now time to just go to the next floor. I don't think there's much else I need to do. So, let's head down. I probably should have picked up health for my bone hearts, but we'll be fine. But now, ooh, we, we now get to go to the boss arena room. The boss challenge room, which is pretty sick. Uh, we can't get a angel deal, most likely. We're looking for a sacrifice on this floor. If we can get a sacrifice on this floor, that will be huge. But I'm not... I'm not banking on it. The chance of us getting a sacrifice room, I don't know what it is, but it's not it's not great. Thank you for the health. 
health in here. I'm just opening all the chests because we can. And this has been a pretty quick run. 36 minutes to get to where we are now isn't too shabby. And I'm glad I went Devil Deals. This was actually such a good run. Now, one thing I could have done um, last floor, which would have been maybe a little bit better, is been a little bit more riskier in the Ultra Secret Room because we could have gotten Brimstone. We could have gotten uh, Sacred Art. We could have gotten some like pretty cool red items if I would have like held out for longer, but we wouldn't have gotten Conjoined if I didn't take uh, Sister Maggie. The pact is just a good damage up, and Hemer Lacquer is also just a good damage up, so I think it was worthwhile. But now we are going to go crazy. Let me pop the World Card real quick. And hopefully I can find the Ultra Secret Room. That'd be super cool. What other item do I get? A health up. That's fine with me, honestly. I don't care about bone hearts too much. Actually, bone hearts are really nice. And there is a sacrifice on this floor. That's actually super, super good. We might, we probably will be able to continue this run. After all. Okay. Don't care about that. And honestly, I believe that the Ultra Secret Room is going to be off of here. It's not. I thought it was a good guess. Now, there's only one like one area or one direction the Ultra Seeker Room could have been off of this room, so this is a bad room to do it off of, but I thought it was smart. Now I can go fight El Muhair. Actually, it'd be El Madre, not El Muhair. And it's like, watch how much damage we do. Like, this is going to be one of the shortest mother fights you will see in a while. Like, we're already done with phase one, and mother only did one and a half attacks. Now we get to this phase. We drop bombs to do extra damage. The sucky attack is much better than anything else. And we are already done with the fight, which is insane. And this right here is why we don't download mods that let us continue after mother. What we can do right now is we can exit the game and continue this game. This is not cheating. This is just something that's in the game sure you could count as cheating but people are asking me to do a mod that does the exact same thing uh it allows us to get a boss fight door which allows us to leave the room um if you ever fight mother you can always get this uh you can always get out if if you want to by just exiting and continuing to get the mother or the boss door after you beat mother of course um so it's very nice now we can go sacrifice and we can go to dark room which is gonna be quite fun Nice. That's a very rough room if you're not flying. Very, very rough room if you're not flying. And I need some more health. Ooh. Interesting. Let me go get pick up some health real quick because I don't want to lose this bone heart too quickly. And bone hearts light just to sacrifice a little bit easier. So, pick you up. I'm not going to run back and forth right now. There's not really any reason for me to do that. So I'm just going to like lose my bone hearts quick and sacrifice real fast. Um, and I will actually go pick up filigree feather. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you sacrifice, uh, you will always get an angel deal. Unless you've already seen a devil deal on the run, you will always get an angel deal if you get a deal. Like you're not guaranteed to get an angel deal. But if you get teleported to a deal, it's always going to be an angel deal. So, or an angel room, I guess, is the better way to say it. Two, three, four, five, six. And right now, yeah, we get, we have a 33% chance to... Oh, wait, this is 33% chance to get an angel item. No, angel item, bombs, and yeah, we're not going to get a deal uh, on this floor, but... This is pretty exciting. Thank you for that. We get all of our soul hearts, and now we fight Uriel. Which you don't have to fight Uriel, but it's fast enough. Ooh. And I had Filigree Feather, which I completely forgot about, which got us that. I'm kind of confused why the first angel didn't drop us an item. I'm actually very confused. Did they change Filigree Feather recently? I don't think they did. But let's get on to Dark Room, please. Sweet. And look, we didn't even have to download a mod to get here. So we're fine. And this is actually so cool. Okay. Uh, since I... I actually don't need... 
I don't need anything anymore. I'm just taking all of this. I don't care. I don't need the key anymore. I am going to use Suicide King. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to clear this room first and use Suicide King in here just to make sure I do this correctly. But here I go. So we're going to Suicide King because why not? Oh my gosh. It got us... Oh wait, it got us another devil deal, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'll do this just to die real quick. I don't need Spectral Tears, but I might as well take it. It's fun that way. Uh, Hangman, don't need it. I'll take you for the extra health. Thank you. Justice card. Actually, look at this. I can actually get to one more heart of health. Nice. And I'm pretty confident that I won't take any more damage. So... Now, am I going to do Mega Satan right now? I might not. Honestly, if I don't get more health, I might not do Mega Satan. But we are going to get a lot of stuff on this floor. Like, we'll just watch this as well. We can, we, the reason I took Jello is because Jello is actually just insane. Jello shoots a second, like the same tiers as you. It's actually wild. Same thing, it's, it's the same thing as Tain Lilith's um, little baby, except you also shoot tiers. And yeah. Temporary tattoo was great. It was fantastic. But it's definitely not an item that I would really recommend too much because it only gets you an extra boss item. But it is cool that it can get you an extra item. Any extra item on a run can help a lot. Um, this is not a run that we needed any extra boss items. Uh, they, I want to say they helped us in any way. I don't think they hurt us in any way. But oh, that right there is huge. I think it was just mediocre. Nice. We just do so much damage. It's actually getting insane. And here's Lamb. I feel like we can do Lamb without taking any damage. Like, watch this. Jello shoots out the exact same tiers as us. And Lamb is just dead. Okay. And since I do have nine lives, I will go into Mega Satan to fight Mega Satan. But if I die once, I'm probably not going to fight it again. I'll probably just end the run early. I'm pretty... Ooh, I'm pretty confident. I might as well take this, because if I take one damage, that'll help me out a little bit. And I am going to full clear, because we can get a lot of items for cheap, for free. And I do want to find the secret room. There we go. Magic mush. No magic mush. Magic mush. This is our last chance to get magic mush. No magic mush. Okay. Everything needs to die, please. Thank you. And we have a couple more rooms we can do before we end this run. Or before we go fight Mega Satan. I'm looking forward to these last little rooms. Thank you. No chest, which is sad. Oh, this is a rough little room. Is this Beezlebub right here? It's not. I thought I got another fly item before this. Other than Swarm. I don't know. Apparently, I didn't. Okay. You're dead. No items. Ooh, there's a lot more rooms left, actually. What the heck? I thought there's not going to be this many. Oh, look at extra hell or extra heart. Ooh, nice. I like everything we're receiving right now. Number two might have not been my favorite item, but I do like number two. I don't hate it at all. It's actually really good. But right now, when I'm not paying attention too much to, like, bombs around me, it's a little rough. I'd like to just be able to mindlessly play. But here we go. It is time to do Mega Satan. And I do only have three... Hits the damage before I die. But I do so much damage that I'm not really too concerned. I'm pretty good at this this fight. And also, I don't have to be good at this fight if I just kill everything instantly. He still summoned bombs, which is scary. Ooh, look at that. He got Beezlebub. Nice. We're about to get to phase two already. I don't even know what I was worried about. And I could go to Delirium, but since I don't have any health, I am a little bit scared about Delirium. Now, is this a pretty good Delirium run? It actually is. It'd be relatively easy, but I don't have a lot of health, which scares me. Let's see if we get the Delirium Portal. We might not. We do get it. Yeah, I have to. I should be able to get some more health on this next floor. I'm not really too concerned. I do so much damage. I have to do this, right? Can't say no to a crazy, crazy fun run. 
Now, this is a little risky. It is actually very risky, I will say. Um, this isn't the smartest idea. The smartest idea would be just to end it early rather than risking my life. But... I think I should be fine. I should be able to get a little bit more health on this floor. It shouldn't be too bad. I'm just looking for Tinder Rocks. Tinder Rocks are gonna help me, and also this machine can be really good for me. I know I have money equals power, but it's literally 0 .01 damage. 0 .01 damage is not gonna help me that much. And this could get me soul hearts. So, can we get to the time machine mod to actually work, please? Ooh, Ansys. It's actually really good. I wish that was um, purity. Nice. Reverse sun card's not bad. Reverse hangman's not terrible. Not anything I need. But yeah. Wait, this is the regular sun card I have right now. Which could actually be really good. And this sun card could actually be really good as well. Let me just bomb these away real quick. Just to be safe. I think it should actually be pretty fine. I've got enough stuff that I'm pretty strong. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, of course I'm going to take this. Lord of the Pit. That's fine. Should I have probably not taken that? Maybe. But that could have been that could have been something crazy. That could have been Brimstone. So like can't not take it. Let's go to the super secret room. Hope for some health. It gave me health. To be honest, it did give me health. I should be fighting bosses that are not going to be, or guaranteed not delirium. Satanic Bible is actually huge for me. I'm going to leave Jello on the ground for now. Because I can go get a bunch of health on this floor and be absolutely fine. So that's actually a really good get. A really good get. A really good procurement. Sun card does deal damage in, in a room so I can just kill everything instantly come back in here grab the other sun card nice and we know that only one of these bosses is guaranteed to not be delirium which is scary you might be like which one is it it's the one that's right here because the delirium has to be able to have a two by two room to house the boss fight so it has can't have any other rooms touching that two by two area so, this room, just can't have it. Because touching, if it had a 2x2, two it would be touching all the rooms pretty much. Don't need to be opening this stuff. I'm doing it for fun. Look at this. Look how much health I can get. Actually, freebies. Temperance. If, you, if I see another Temperance, I'm going to wig out. But hey, look at this health we're getting. I like this. Now, I do really want Jello for the Delirium fight. So, I'll probably go back and get jello in a second oh my gosh that was amazing i'm actually gonna go back and get jello right now i think i have enough health at this point um so i like this i can actually probably get one more black heart i'm gonna get one more black heart before i go get jello we have enough rooms to do this in and what's cool about jello and uh nine volt is we do get to use jello every room since it is a two charge item it's very sick I like it a lot. And these are the last two rooms. And how do I get back to exactly 33 cents? The same amount of money I had when I first got here. It's crazy. That's kind of a stupid question. It's like, at some point, you're, if I'm getting a bunch of money, I'm going to get back to 33 cents. It's not like a really rare occurrence, but it's surprising, okay? Let's grab you. I'm going to go all the way down to the left first. What's probably going to happen is I'm going to fight everything but Delirium, then get to Delirium last. Okay, that usually is what happens to me when I'm looking for Delirium. But hey, I think this is going to be sick. As you see, we have found the Headless Horseman. Hot Bombs is fine. It's probably safer for me not to pick up any items I get from a boss fight. But I can't be bothered. Not picking up items? Kind of cringe. And we're doing insanely good right now. So, like, I'm not scared of a lot of things. I'm still scared, but I'm not scared of a lot of things. I'll say that. Okay. Aw, oh, man. Hey, look. The first Tinder Rock I've actually seen with my own two eyes. 
Our health is looking good. And this could be delirium. I don't know if, actually, I can't tell if it can be or not. It's very confusing. Boom's not terrible. The reason I'm confused about this one is because technically, if the room was a two by two that went this way and this way, I think it could be here. But I don't know if the game would allow that. So who knows? But now I'm not gonna go into the extra rooms. No reason to do extra rooms if I don't have to. It's not like I can get any more items by doing extra rooms. I only get extra items by doing boss fights. I think we're guaranteed that this boss fight right here actually can't be delirium. This one right above me. Almost positive, yeah. Uh, if you guys don't know how uh, floors work in this game, box stuff isn't that good. Wait a sec, what are you? Reverse judgment's not too bad. Soul of Isaac's also not too bad. Um, but if you guys don't know how uh, floors work in this game, is ev every floor has a maximum limit of a 13 by 13 grid. And as you see, this is the right side of the 13 by 13 grid. So we know that no room can extend past this. So because this boss fight is right here in this top corner, we know that the boss fight cannot be to this side. What's it? So it, ha it would have to spawn this way. But since there's a room to the left right here, it cannot be delirium. Which means that this room right here has to be delirium because we already fought every other boss. So what I am going to do, I'm going to pop this, pop this, get some more damage. And like, look at us. Can I see anything in this room? Not really. But I'm going to killing stuff? I think so. I don't know why I was that scared to go delirium. I just... The most random stuff can happen when you go to void. And it's just very scary when you don't have a lot of health. But I have like such an insane setup right now that I'm doing pretty good. It is very hard to see the enemy tiers right now. I'm a little concerned. I'm not going to die. I shouldn't die. I don't know how I'm dodging everything. I'm a ninja. Okay. Oh, well, got hit right there. That's fine. Hot bombs is pretty cool. Hey, stop touching me. But there we go. That right there. That right there was a mother run that also turned into a delirium run. Which just shows how crazy you can go in this game without even having to use mods. And so that's why we're not getting the continue after mother mod because we continued after mother without mods. It's crazy. But anyways, that right there is going to be win 206 in a row as Eden. So if you guys did enjoy that episode, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. I was about to mess that up somehow. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel. Helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been Preets. Peace out.